is the time to attack! I never thought you would manage to force me to retreat. But I know that losses on your side are significant as well. These guys are fighting with some serious fire in their bellies to overcome me. It's only a matter of time before that fire burns out. Mount Tai Long is ours, but to be honest, we've gained very little from this foray. All that preparation and this is all we have to show for it? Way's just too powerful. As you can see, my father has caught me well. That was quite a spectacle. Truly amazing. <laughs> We have somehow managed to claim Mount Tai Long. Yes, but it's come at quite a cost. It might be tough to go much further. Jian Wei! Wei reinforcements are on their way from Shun An. What do you want to do? It might be kind of tough to hold them off. Ugh. I knew Wei had far greater resources than us, but it is most galling to be bested in this manner. We have hit them with everything we have, yet they still have enough left for reinforcements! If we allow any more men to die here, this battle will have been for nothing. We must begin preparations to retreat. We will leave defensive troops in place on Mount Tai Long and return home. Our people were united as one, we prepared immaculately, and yet what do we have to show for this battle? A single mountain. We may not have tasted defeat, but this can hardly be considered a victory either. Next time, next time I will prepare better and put plans in place for every eventuality. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. And I am afraid that this is all we have achieved on this occasion. I must take full responsibility for this failure. The fault lies squarely with me. I beg your forgiveness. What do you have to apologize for, Xiang Wei? Our men fought bravely and with unity, and claimed victory. On top of that, you have made it safely back home to Shu. This is a wonderful thing. You must be tired. From the battle. Really, you need to rest. What are you talking about? We cannot be satisfied with such paltry achievements. What would I say to the Prime Minister or Master Liu Bei? No, we must resume our northern campaign. Your passion is commendable. But I would like you to think of the soldiers and the ordinary people. They need time to rest as well. They cannot just keep on fighting forever. Of course. But tell me, my lord. How can our people ever truly rest? There is no relaxation to be had in a precarious situation in which war against Wei could break out at any moment. Our people will only know true peace once we eliminate Wei and bring about our land of virtue. I see. Well, I certainly hope that time will be soon. To that end, I will devote my every waking hour to a plan to overcome the forces of Wei. For the sake of our dream of a land of virtue and benevolence!
Our previous northern campaign ended as a disappointing failure. In order to make sure that this does not happen again, I intend to make our preparations still more airtight on this occasion. Do not listen to what Master Jiang Wei says, Lord Liu Shan. What? What are you saying, Huang Hao? Master Jiang Wei, while your mind is immersed in thoughts of war, what do you think is happening to Xu? Were it not for me, law and order within the kingdom would have collapsed completely, and Lord Liu Chan would have been greatly inconvenienced. I do not believe ignoring the tenets of good governance and causing problems for one's ruler are the qualities of a loyal retainer. But I have inherited the Prime Minister's grand dream of eliminating Wei. It is my duty as a loyal retainer to bring that dream to reality. It is also a necessity if we wish to build a land of virtue. Every battle we engage in makes our land weaker and poorer. Do you wish for Emperor Liu Shan to live his life like a mere peasant? You must stop this quarreling, both of you! Zheng Wei, I appreciate your commitment. But Huang Hao is right. I do not want to make the people live a life of abject poverty. Is there not some other way? I will simply do what I must as a loyal retainer. Huang Hao, you must do the same. If each of us demonstrates wholehearted commitment to our cause, then the land will be fine. <laughs> How dare you talk of loyalty! You don't know the meaning of the word! Lord Liu Chang, we have received reports that the Wei commander Sima Shi has died. His brother, Sima Zhao, is to take over in his stead. My lord, this is our chance. We must resume the northern campaign. Master Jiang Wei, not this again. First of all, hardly any time has passed since the previous campaign. It is true that our preparations are not exactly complete, but... At Mount Tai Long, we claimed victory after forcing Sima Zhao into a corner. If he is leading the enemy forces this time, we should still have a good chance of victory even without perfect preparation. Hmm. You seem... like you are in an awful hurry, Zheng Wei. Why must you do this... so soon? Compared to Wei and Wu, we are still weak. If Wei attacks and takes over Wu, they will become far too large for us to ever stand against them. It is imperative that we use every chance we have to chip away at their strength. That is why we must fight. If we are stronger, then the lives of our people will be richer and more prosperous. Surely that is the greatest gift we can give the people. I see. If you say that this will improve the lives of the people, then I must have faith in you. May fortune smile upon you on the field of battle. I await your report of good news. Lord Liu Chen, you must not believe a word he says. How will war make the country more prosperous? It will only bring more suffering and hardship. There will be no time or money for banquets or games! Huang Hao, Lord Liu Chan has given his order. You must prepare the castle for war. That is an order from myself, your army's commander. Gah. Just as I suspected, Wei is in considerable turmoil. 
their numbers are significantly fewer than last time. This will be our greatest chance. But we have fewer troops than before as well. Even Lady Yue Ying and Master Ma Dai were ordered by Master Huang Hao to concentrate on administrative issues in Chengdu and couldn't come with us. And while the enemy may not have great numbers, their defenses look solid. With such a defensive-minded formation, it'll be difficult to use any surprise attacks. It'll take some time, but we have little choice but to take down each base one at a time. Yes. On top of that, we are far from home. We must reach Chunsung before our provisions run out. Everything is arrayed against us, but this is far from an unwinnable battle. I am expecting great things from you all! For our ultimate goal, we must take down Chen Sung! We will defeat Sima Zhao and expel the Wei forces from this territory! Go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Take this place, and the shoe camp is exposed. Crush them before they rally! Attack us here! Everyone prepare to defend this spot! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale.
I will keep this land safe. If you want to get past, you'll have to go over my dead body. Hmm. There is nothing else for it. I will have to reach. As you can see, my father has taught me well. I am relieved that we managed to win this one. Words cannot describe your ability. That was quite a spectacle. Truly amazing. Not afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. You've fallen perfectly for our little trap. <laughs> There's nowhere to run. Damn, there are too many of them. We can't fight through this.
The enemy is going to attack us here. Everyone prepare to defend this spot. The enemy knows my brothers died. I guess I can't afford to moan and complain anymore. Huh. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. I'm sure something good will happen if we successfully defend this place. I guess time's up for me here. But I've done enough. Sima Zhao has retreated. But our own casualties are significant. I do not think we can pursue them any further. As you can see, my father has taught me well. We somehow managed to take Chen Sung, but our provisions have almost reached rock bottom. If the enemy attacks again, there's no way we'll be able to defend it. If we could somehow get provisions sent from Chengdu, that would solve our problems. But I suppose everyone there has their hands full with administrative issues. I had thought that with Sima Zhao in charge, things would be easier, but... If we stay here, we will simply end up incurring greater losses. The whole thing will have been a disaster. Our only choice is to withdraw. Inform the troops. I underestimated my enemy, and have brought disgrace on my kingdom's name. Prime Minister, I ask you to rebuke me from the heavens for my foolishness. So this campaign north was not satisfactory either, it seems. Please forgive me, Lord Liu Chan. But next time, I will be successful. Next time, huh? Zheng Wei. Why do you continue to make these offensive campaigns to the north? How? How can you ask that of me, my lord? Lord Liu Bei. And the Prime Minister wanted to defeat Cao Wei. The officers and troops are fighting. The commoners are working in order to achieve that goal. And you ask me why? No, that's not what I mean. I was just trying to say... Our campaign to the north will be very successful. My dear Lord, please do pray for our victory. Lord Liu Chan. It's all right, Xin Sai. I'm just not good at expressing exactly how I truly feel. Continuing a fight that hurts the people for the sake of a dream. I cannot help but feel beyond awful about the situation. Mm -hmm. 
What are we doing? I cannot help but wonder where we are headed with all of this. The failure of our latest Northern Campaign was a direct result of my own folly. I have taken responsibility for this by demoting myself from Grand General to the rank of Rear General. Huh. I believe you claimed victory was in our grasp. What happened? I would thank you to refrain from threatening the security of our lives here in the castle any further. Master Huang Hao. Why is it that you seem so concerned with the quality of life in the castle? Lord Liu Chen is the Emperor of Shu, our leader in all things. The quality of life enjoyed by the leader of any state is the greatest indication of the prosperity of that state. A certain level of luxury is essential to prove to outsiders the strength of the Kingdom of Shu. Really? Is an emperor's job simply to live a life of luxury? I don't recall Lord Liu Bei doing that. Master Jugo Liang never said anything of the sort to Lord Liu Chan either. Th this is how I feel on the matter. I don't have to stand here and be argued with. Everyone, I would like to hear from Zhang Wei. So. What is it you intend to do next? I intend to prepare meticulously in order to assure ourselves of victory in this final northern campaign. Final? Why do you say that? Because this time, we will claim victory and end way. All previous campaigns involved us attacking in increments, being sure to secure each base along the way. But I now realize that victory is impossible fighting like that. For this final campaign, we will employ all our forces and strike directly at the enemy main camp. That is why our preparations must be flawless and the strategies employed perfect, because this will be our final effort. Lies! He says this is the last time. But if he fails, he is sure to carry on. Besides which, what gives you the idea that you could achieve what Master Zhuge Liang never could? The Prime Minister put his life on the line in the battle on the Ujung Plains. With a little more time, victory would have been ours. If I do the same, and determine that this is our final campaign, if we attack with everything we have, body and soul, then we will win! Zheng Wei, I want you to make me a promise. This must be the last time. I want you to guarantee that you will end this war with Wei. My lord! Guarantee? How can he do any such thing? The Wei Emperor, Cao Mao, has been slain by Sima Zhao. This internal conflict provides us with our perfect opportunity to attack Wei. This will be the end of it all. The battle against the kingdom where I grew up. I have to give my all and fight so that I have no regrets. I feel like we're carrying the dreams of so many on our shoulders. Master Zhuge Liang. The young master? We must be the ones to build a land of virtue. Let's do this! The northern campaign my lord husband could never complete. It now falls to us to do it in his stead. When I first fought alongside my father and brothers, our enemy was the Wei army. We were defeated that day and lost so much. But we will not lose again. 
I do not believe Lord Liu Chan desires any more conflict. In which case, we must make this the final battle. We must achieve all that Father and Master Liu Bei dreamed of. Come, everyone! This land will bear witness to our final day of reckoning! This will be the final expedition of our northern campaign. We must use every last ounce the strength we have to defeat Wei. Master Shahoba is in danger. He's caught in an enemy ploy at Huhi Castle. Shoe scum. They're aiming for Huhi Castle. I'm here to support Shahoba. Let Huhi Castle know. Immediately! needs to be stopped. I'll see to it myself. It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Oops. They're isolated. It'll be curtains for me unless I can break my way through the enemy lines. Prepare yourself, Shaoba. Now you will pay for betraying way. Siege unit! Commence your attack! Massacre the Shu forces inside the castle! Spring the ambush! Men, strike down Shahoba! The enemy is going to attack us here! Everyone prepare to defend this spot! The Shu forces are fighting with a ferocity I have never before seen. We must counter with unwavering commitment to our cause. The enemy is dealing with its own domestic disputes. Now is our chance. We will throw everything we have at them, and claim victory! The Shu forces have infiltrated us from the north? That's fairly audacious! Summon Deng Zhang's unit to return. We will trap the Shu army in a pincer attack! The Shu forces are resisting ferociously. We'll need to procure more siege weaponry from Huhi Castle. The Shu forces are much more powerful than I had anticipated. I never thought we would be pushed back this far. Report! Trouble in Chengdu. They need us to come back at once. We have forced the Wei forces into a corner, but it cannot be helped. 
We must return to Chengdu! Prepare the siege weapons! Show the Shu forces their awesome power! Give up this once in a lifetime chance. But this emergency at Chengdu, what could have happened? I don't understand. But since it ordered the troops to return, it must be important. Regardless, let us hurry. Ah! Chan. What is it, Jiang Wei? That is what I would like to know. Just what happened here in Chengdu? I don't know what you are talking about. As far as I am aware, nothing at all has happened to Chengdu. What do you mean? Then why the command to return at once? Then who called us? And for what purpose? So somebody falsely used my own name to send an order. That is truly strange. What on earth is happening here in Shu? What am I missing? I must find a way to figure out what's going on. Master Jiang Wei, have you found out any more about the fake order that was given to retreat? Nothing definitive, but I think I know who was behind it. It had to be someone of a high enough rank to use the name of Lord Liu Chun, and it had to be someone who was opposed to the Northern Campaign. I do believe that Huang Hao was involved in some capacity. We fought as one for you, Master Jiang Wei, and for those who have gone before. And this one selfish, cowardly act ruined it all. Then, we must report this to Lord Liu Chan at once. This is nothing more than supposition on my part. We cannot report suspicions and hearsay. It is clear that more people than I realized were opposed to the campaign. We are a small kingdom as it is. If we are not united in everything we do, then ruination is all that awaits us. Master Jiang Wei. But I cannot simply give up on the dreams that I have inherited. I must find some way to keep Shu safe. Tsai, am I doing my duty as Emperor of Shu? Lord Liu Chan, why would you even ask such a thing? When my father created this land, we were united as one under a single ambition. But now, we have devolved to the point where someone has used my name to impede our own forces. What should I do, Xing Sai? How can I bring us back together again? You are the Emperor of Shu, my lord. 
You are the inheritor of Master Liu Bei's grand ambition of the creation of a land of virtue and benevolence. If you show the world that that ambition lives on still, then your people will surely unite under your banner. But how do I... do such a thing? My lord, I... I have the desire to carry on my father's legacy, but I do not know how that is to be done. I once heard a story that my father was similarly lost and directionless before he met Zhuge Liang. He was unsure of which path to take, and then he met Zhuge Liang, and all became clear to him. I wish I could have a similar epiphany. I must decide which road to walk very soon. Lord Liu Chan. Xing Sai! Lord Liu Chun, it appears that Wei forces are gathering at Shang Un. I believe they intend to invade Shu. We must put together an army to respond to this threat. Master Jiang Wei, we will not be fooled again. You are just looking for another excuse to start a war with Wei. What are you suggesting? I am merely reporting the facts. Wei will attack, that much is certain. If we do not strengthen our defenses, Shu will be in grave danger. <sighs> I haven't heard any such reports. Besides which, didn't you say that the previous Northern Campaign would be the last? You have been defeated. Take it like a man and realize your day is done. I... I was never defeated. I was thwarted by a dastardly plan hatched by traitors in our midst. But pathetic You'll make up any excuse! Jiang Wei says the enemy is on its way. Huang Hao says it is not. Which of these is the truth? I bring news. Our scouts in Bashi have reported sightings of Wei troops. I knew it! They are already here! It is as you have heard, my lord. We will head for Bashi and engage the enemy in combat. Very well. Take care. Can't lose. Zhang Hui's unit has made it as far as Jianji. We must put defensive troops in place to handle them. But it is most odd. Until now, Dang Ai has always led their vanguard. I wonder where he could be. My lord, a unit led by Deng Ai has attacked Jian Yu to the north of Chengdu. They have broken through Mianju Gate and are fast approaching Chengdu! What? I never imagined they would breach our defenses from the north! We have moved too many of our men here. The defenses of Chengdu are dangerously thin. I hope those left in the capital will be alright. We must hurry back and help them. But if we do that, then Zhang Hui will come through here and reach the capital himself. It will be extremely difficult to defend attacks on two fronts. 
But we cannot afford to lose. Come, everyone! We must do what we can to repel the enemy and keep our dreams alive! Sure. Already infiltrated Chengdu. We must find a way to prevent them from seizing the city. <sighs> Shu is sinking, and we are the only ones who can haul it out of the mire. Everyone, we must join forces and face the enemy with courage! We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense! If it isn't the Shu... ...Army's secret weapon, the Juggernaut Battalion. Frankly, I think they look oddly humorous. The enemy is remarkably tenacious. I must be at least as determined, and hold out. Even with your backs to the wall, you insist on continuing to fight. I appreciate your courage, but it is time to end this. Why not surrender and save yourself the pain? Or perhaps you desire to die by my hand? What? Wei forces from the north? Even after the fall of Luo Castle? The enemy is strong, but we cannot lose hope. They may be a strong opponent. But we must not lose hope. Shu's desperation was too much for us in the end. But how long will they insist on this futile resistance? Xing <laughs> Sai, you are like a shining star of hope to me. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Chengdu is safe. No matter how often Wei attacks, we will defend our homeland. We have claimed victory on this occasion, but our land and our people cannot take much more of this. Jiang Wei, I am more grateful than you could know for your continued loyalty. But it is time to put an end to all of this. What are you saying? Lord Liu Chun? Surely you can't mean! As you can see, my father has taught me well. You are quite strong, indeed.
one stop! I am Sima Zhao, Grand Commander of the Wei Armies. You are Liu Chan, Emperor of Shu, right? Tell me. Have you decided? Yes. Let us end this now. As long as this fighting continues, then so will the grief. Master Sima Zhao, I do have a request to make. And that is? Will you carry on our dream as well? We always dreamed of a wise rule and of a new world that is completely without any sadness or chaos. I cannot make that promise. <laughs> but I'll try to make it come true in this new age that I'm creating. I thank you. That is sufficient. Then I will surrender the shoe. I accept your surrender. Oh. Chaos shall end. Yang Wei, forgive me for causing you such pain, but Lord Sima Zhao has been gracious enough to allow us to commune with each other again. Lord Chan, why? Why did you surrender? We could still fight. We could have fought and achieved all of the Prime Minister's wishes. Why? I won't ask you to forgive me, but I am sick of the fighting. I have absolutely no desire for it. You have forced us to yield from the moment you decided to give up. Jiang Wei. You have always given me your all, and truly done, your very best serving the House of Shu. But it is all over now. There is no more need to bear that burden. How can... Speak no more, Jiang Wei. With this, Shu's battle is finally over. <laughs>